The road to the Whitby Sports Hall of Fame was one with challenges for Ann Windover, a young girl with a talent for many sports, but not always someone to play with. Without a girls minor lacrosse system growing up, she suited up with the lads, but it didn't hold her back. Well, I originally started out wanting to play lacrosse because my two older brothers played. And then I, in the wintertime, I wanted to play hockey, but they didn't allow girls to play hockey back then. So Whippy's really evolved since I've played in, in town. We didn't have a girls box lacrosse team, so they allowed me to play with the boys. Her path in lacrosse was blazed partially by her brothers. Um, I've always been passionate about lacrosse, and um, I, too, I always wanted to do what my two older brothers did, and they were in lacrosse, so I wanted to do what they did and uh, just kind of continued from there. I always seemed to have a natural talent for lacrosse and, and playing. After leaving the box game behind, Anne found success on the field. Playing a dominant role with the Dennis O'Connor Chargers in high school led to opportunities first with the provincial and then national teams. In 1993, she was the youngest player at the World Championships in Scotland and just happened to be the leading scorer. Yeah, it was actually quite a surprise. I didn't realize that I was the youngest player until later in the tournament. So I've always grown up with an older crowd, being my brothers being older than me. And I always started out when I was five and I played on the seven, eight year old boys team. So age really didn't make a big difference in my life, but uh, it was nice to have that little part of uh, being the youngest player and the top scorer for that year. From the Worlds to Virginia, and scored herself a Division I NCAA scholarship to Old Dominion University, where she just happens to be in their Hall of Fame as well, thanks to leading the team in scoring four years in a row, racking up 204 points in the process, an all-time high at the school. After university, the desire to contribute to the game she loves so much led Ann Windover to put down the stick and pick up a whistle. I guess I respected my coach so well, like growing up in college and previously from Whitby as well. Um, they made a big difference in my life and I just wanted to give back to the program and to women's sports, um, especially because I wasn't given the opportunity to uh, um, play until I was about 12 year old with girls. So I always wanted to give back to what I was brought up with and my, you know, what I experienced.